hello guys welcome back to take dose and in this video i will be giving you a planned sheet which will be covering all the important topics which can be used for quick brush up or a quick revision on the dsa topics this will be very useful for those people who are sitting for their internships or their placements and it is still going on or it is very near and you want to brush up all the topics on dsa very very quickly okay so in order to cover all the topics on dsa you will require a maximum of one to two weeks of time it depends on how much time you can invest okay it is also useful for those people who are looking for jobs which they are actively applying for their interviews or their interview date has been scheduled and they also want to brush up on this dsa quickly okay they don't want to give it too much of time they have very less time and they want to finish all the topics very quickly so this sheet will also be helpful for those type of people as well so without wasting any time let us have a look at the sheet this is the entire sheet which i have prepared covering all the data structures and most important algorithms which you will finish in just one to two weeks of time okay so let me just go through this entire sheet once so that you, you will quickly understand now in this case this hashtag will mean that it is the lead code problem and hashtag will be followed by some number and that will be the lead code problem number okay so if you look at this topic array then here i have mentioned the important topics as cadence algorithm n by k repeat number and its example n by 3 is present on interview bit and you can find this solution for n by k repeat number on stack overflow also there is three some problem which is from lead code number 15 and like this all the other problems are given number 5 is covering all the sorting algorithms you can read about them and you can try to implement them as well and all the searching algorithms so this array will be taking the most time in this entire sheet now this is the linked list this is taking the least time the problems in this set will be reversing linked list in blocks of size k reordering list from lead code number 143 merge to sorted list cycle detection or removal in a linked list and adding two numbers represented as a linked list right in the stack the most important thing is to implement the stack stock span problem is a very good problem implementing q using stack is also important and valid parenthesis problem is also very important now in q section as well it will be very similar to stack implement q implement stack using q and the circular tour problem this is very famous problem as well now in the string part KMP pattern matching algorithm is very important along with the rabin karp algorithm also known as the rolling hash all these topics have been explained in my videos you can watch that now reversing all the words in a text prefix to postfix postfix to infix and vice versa conversions okay word break problem from dynamic programming this is dp on string and the group anagrams problem from lead code number 49 if we look at this hash which is also known as the hash map it is very important to know how to implement hash the four sum problem is an excellent problem to practice this which is from lead code number 18 and just for a basic problem you need to do this one longest substring without repeating characters which is from lead code number three this will be an easy problem now let us move to the next topic the next in list is heap so heap implementation is extremely important knowing about build heap heap sort uh, this is the problem merge k sorted list from lead code number 23 and last stone weight from lead code number 1046 this is an easy problem now 2d matrix problems are also very famous so these are the two famous problems which i have given rotating matrix by 90 180 or 270 degrees and rotating matrix in the form of spiral rings like a rotating spiral lock okay so if you are having a matrix then you want to rotate it spirally okay and each of these spirals will be independently moved so this is one very important problem from segment tree you want to implement segment tree range sum query as well as range minimum query and this may or may not be required okay so all the companies may not require the harder problems you need to find out which companies you are targeting and which company you are sitting in for interviews and then uh, take out some of the problems from this list so if you are sitting for say coordination then this problem is extremely important like implementation of lazy propagation as well as the segmentary part but if you are sitting for some company which is paying less then these all things will not, not be important for you so you need to see which companies you are sitting for and see some of the interview experiences and then you will get to know what all questions to reject and what all to do now the fang companies will obviously be asking these questions so you should also prepare binary index tree how to implement it and the skyline problem from lead code number 218 
now try is also a very simple and useful data structure you need to do these two topics in order to get full understanding on that now dynamic programming is of course very important and i have listed down 11 of the most important problems covering different domains so this count subset with sum equals to x is from knapsack target sum is from knapsack coin change problem is from unbounded knapsack this is coin change 2 these all are from knapsack fifth number problem is a lcs variant sixth number problem is a lis variant then this is minimum edit distance this is cadence algorithm variant number 918 from lead code this is a dp on grid variant number 63 from lead code this is a mcm variant matrix chain multiplication balloon burst problem from 312 and egg dropping problem which is also a mcm variant right so if you can just revise this then you will be confident in dynamic programming as well and now the last part is graph so in graph most of the companies only ask about dfs bfs and topological sorting okay so you need to revise dfs bfs as well as solve this problem this is a very important problem number of islands from lead code number 200 and after doing it you can do topological sorting which is the core schedule 2 problem for practice number 210 from lead code and if you are sitting for some high ctc companies then you can expect yourself to be asked this targents algorithm which will include the bridge algorithms how to find the bridges or how to find the articulation points and all right so you can practice this problem lead code number 1192 which is i think finding the number of bridges so these were the topics which will be covering the most important data structures along with the most important topics so this you can finish in 7 to 14 days right it depends on how much time you can invest if you are investing full day time then i think you will be able to do it in seven days because you are doing revision you are not doing it for the first time so i hope this sheet will be very useful to you so try to share this with your friends and classmates along with your juniors as well as seniors so that it will help a lot of people the link for this entire list will be present in the description below you can go there and download it please like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of these programming videos see you in our next video thank you